Welcome back to International Scale Modeler. Uh, this is just going to be a very, very quick review of a uh, burnishing brush that I recently purchased uh, on the back of um, Gary's recommendation from Making Models Again. Uh, he said they used it. I've, I've been having a real problem with um, getting a really nice effect with after using a hairspray method and then getting the effect that looks natural rather than chipping at it with a toothpick, which I think you can kind of tell that it's been scratched rather than, than rubbed, you know, worn, uh, that get that worn effect. Uh, so I watched one of his videos and he said about getting one of these, um, hunted high and low, the only place I could find them was on eBay and I got this from a German seller and it worked out about 10 pounds, something like that. But it's a brilliant tool, uh, really, really worth getting one. And uh, let's, I'll give you a quick idea of how about, how it goes. So if we have a look at the burning, burning brush, it just looks like a short pencil, thing like that. Uh, now, in the front, you've got the other back, you've got this winder, which, you know, pushes the, the brush out and uh, pulls it back in again. Now, this isn't fixed, uh, as you can just pull it out like so. Uh, now, we have, I, this came with three attachments. Some of them only come with this one, which is um, like a, a plastic, like, a, it's very much like normal cable, nylon, something like that, I would imagine. Uh, now, I haven't used this yet because it's very, very soft. Um, and I would imagine the only time you could use something like that is on wet paint, okay, uh, or slightly, you know, dry paint that's only literally just dried because it is very, very soft indeed. So I don't think it's going to do a lot. You've then got two others. You've got a steel and a brass one. Uh, again, the steel one is, is nice and soft, um, as you can see, and gives, uh, but once you get it down low, it's really, really stiff. Okay, so it might be a little bit heavy duty uh, for what you want it for. What you want it for now, the brass one is nice. It's a nice soft thing. It's the the fibres on it are quite fine as well. And you see, it's really easy to interchange the bits on this. Uh, but once you get this low, again, it's very stiff. Now, the good thing about this is, the further out you have the brush, the softer it's going to be. So the different effect that you can make, pull it back in, and you get a really good hard um, crush on it. Now. As I say, it's very easy. It comes with these three uh, things, which I mean, I'll probably use, will use all of them in the end in, in some way, shape, or form. But the, the thing itself, as you can see, it's, it's very, very simple. The heads aren't fixed in. You don't need them to be because you're not going to be pressing hard on it or anything like that. Uh, but just to give you an idea of the effect, I did show this in my um, uh, update vegan, the camera, in the new show last month. But just to give you an idea of the effect you can get. Now, you can look on here, and as you can see, I mean, this isn't brilliant. This hasn't been weathered or glossed or anything over the top yet. This is basically uh, a coat of uh, alclad underneath with some um, uh, hairspray over the top, a couple of coats of hairspray, and then a go with the burning soon brush with this tip here. Okay, and you can see how you've managed to get a natural step pattern you know, on each rung and everything. And then you've got a wear pattern. This is for this is the state uh, uh, inspection ladder for the or the cockpit ladder for the javelin, the glossy javelin that I'm doing at the moment. So uh, you know, looking at the videos and that, they were quite worn. But as you can see, you can get some nice effects, and you can go as hard and soft as you want. With toothpicks, you're kind of you're all in or not, you know, and, and things like that. So I've managed to get a nice pattern of wear on there, which once I've got a wash on there and things like that, that's going to look really nice. Now I've actually gone through to the primer on that one because it's just on these top three steps as you can see but that was deliberate because it may just adds a different shade just slightly different shade to those steps where you're going to get the most footfall on the, the item itself but as you can see you get a quite, quite a nice effect from it um, and uh, I mean, this is called Eurotool uh, from Germany and I, I bought it from a German seller I found another one from England it didn't have the three bits I only had one which was the nylon one which I you know I thought I'd rather go for the one with all the different um, tips on it uh, and they were the same price so uh, I had to wait a couple of days but um, for a tenner which is what it is I mean it really does give a good method um, for doing this this hairspray technique or any kind of chipping really I suppose you could use uh, the worn effects uh, from uh, AK or the MIG version that's out now um, I don't get on with those I've got to say I don't really like them I prefer hairspray um, a hairspray just works, I know it works, I've had nothing but problems when I've used those before so I kind of don't use them anymore, in fact I'd probably put them up for sale. Uh, but apart from that, this is, um, I think it's a great little tool that if you do do a lot of weathering and chipping and things like that, 
I think it's definitely a uh, no-brainer that you have to get something like this. And I'd like to say again, thanks to Gary at um, Making Models again for recommending it because it really did save my bacon on this because I tried this a couple times with an thing and I just couldn't get it right. Uh, but anyway, so that is the Euro Tool burnishing tool. It's called a burnishing tool. So if you search eBay for that, this is what you'll get. Um, and it's about ten pounds, and I thoroughly recommend it. And uh, it's a great little tool to have. So uh, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.